Hi you guys and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today I have the California Love Palette by ColourPop. Do you want to know what this is about? Stay tuned. Okay you guys, so I did purchase this and I showed you guys on another video and a few of you did say you would like to see a look with this palette. I just wanted to go with something more natural today and that is what this palette is all about. And when I first purchased this and I told you guys I got it, I even said, I don't care if I ever really even use this palette, just because it says California love is the reason why I got it because I am a California girl currently living in a Florida world. But I just needed to get this because it says California love and I am a California girl. True to heart, never can take that from me. So let's go ahead and dive in. Here's the outside of the packaging. The back goes over the colors and then the inside looks exactly the same it has the foiled palm trees on there which is so cool because those just light up because that's just so california and when you open it up there's no mirror which is perfectly fine and it says california love with some more palm trees and some more shimmer shimmer <laughs> and then when you go to the actual palette here is what it looks like Again, all natural colors, all browns, sparklies. It's just a really pretty palette. And at first, I'm gonna be honest, when I looked at this, I'm like, okay, so there's not a whole lot of darker mattes because this one here and this one, these actually have some shimmer inside. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. They are like glittery, shimmery, but they went on like a matte. And I'm really, really pleased with how it turned out. So I'm really glad that both of these I could use as a normal matte and I didn't have to use it as like a shimmer where all my shimmers I normally put on my lower lid. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this entire palette so we can see what all of the colors look like because I didn't use every single one of them. So let me go ahead and do that for you, so hold on. Okay you guys, so here is the entire palette. So this one right here is just like the glitter. So there is the glitter in there. I'm not a glitter fan, so I normally don't mess with the glitters. This is like an orangish color. I did not try that one, but these are the dark, that's the darker brown that I did use in my corner. And I think that is the, yes, that is the, um, the one I used in my crease. So there is the entire palette swatched. So you do have more of like burnt colors, you have some browns, you have some orange tones, and some gold tones. So all around, I do think this is a really nice palette. I do like the color combination, I like the colors together. I'm really pleased with this California Lovin' palette, you guys. <laughs> so, how I created this look right here is, since there's not a white in here, I normally do start with the white to kind of set my base. And if there's not one in here, I grab my MAC Vanilla, which I did not bring in with me. So I wanted to just solely just use this palette alone. So I went ahead and started with Gnarly. I went in with Gnarly, that's so surfer, Gnarly. <laughs> I went in with Gnarly and I went over my whole entire lid. I always kind of tend to forget to put my um, shimmer under my brow bone, so I started to put this and then I paused and I was like, ah! And I put Cruisin' underneath, was it Cruisin' that I grabbed? Yes, because I use Diego, like San Diego, <laughs> on my lower lid. So I started to put on this, gnarly and then i paused for a second and i put cruising underneath my brow bone just to add like a highlight and then i went back in with this to finish then i went in with the bay which is right here to add it a little bit deeper and then i went in with highway one right here that one is what i went in to make this even more intense and make it darker and then i went in with mission Mission is what I put in the very corner. And then I went ahead in with Sandy or San Diego. Nope, it's just Diego. I went in with Diego and not from Dora. <laughs> from like San Diego. I went in with Diego on my lower lid. And then I just put on, ah, uh, what did I use on my bottom? I went in with Highway 1 right down here. And then I did the bay in the corner. So, that is how I created this look. And you guys, I am, 
I'm more pleased with this palette now that I actually used it and I got to play with the colors because again, I I knew when I'm in one as burr, 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 burr. Okay, so even when I, I was getting a little excited and talking a little too fast and can I actually process <laughs> when I was doing my eye look, at first I stopped and I looked back at the palette and I was like thinking to myself, well, what color am I going to use for the dark browns? And I'm like, oh, well, I'll just keep on going. So I did. And again, I ended up using both of these kind of like they were like a matte in a normal palette and they worked perfect. So I'm super, super excited on how this turned out. I mean, ColourPop is very inexpensive, but they blend very well. And I do like the way that they look. By the end of the day, it still looks the same way. It doesn't end up getting muddy or kind of moving or shifting or anything like that. I normally do not have any problem with ColourPop. I just kind of feel like right now they're coming out with too many palettes. It's like every week they're coming out with a new launch. It's like, holy moly, slow down because they're all starting to look alike. <laughs> so I do love ColourPop. I just kind of feel like they're coming out with too much too quick, but that's just me. So anyway, this is the look that I did with the California Love and I am definitely loving this palette if I used it or not, but now I'm so glad that I did use it because I will be using this more often because I actually am pleased with how it turned out. More of like the gold tones, which I normally don't like, but it actually looks good on my eyes and it made my eye color like darken up almost to like a bronzy color. It was weird. I'm like, Where did that come from? And how long has that been there? <laughs> I have no clue, but something was on my chin chin chin. <laughs> anyway, I'm so glad that I was able to use this because I'm definitely gonna be grabbing for this a lot more because I do like the brown tones. That's normally my comfort zone and I've been creeping to the more of the burgundies and you guys like the purples, but browns are my all time comfort zone. And I do tell you guys that quite often because that's true. So, I do kind of like that those goldish shimmers ended up looking on my lower lid. So I actually am pleased with how this turned out today. <laughs> so if you guys want to see how I created this California love look, then that will follow.
Okay, you guys, so that is exactly how I created this look. Very quick, very easy, very, very simple. I am not a makeup artist. I'm not telling you this is how to do your makeup. I'm just showing you how I apply it on my own eyes, how I'm comfortable with doing it. And just so you can kind of see how the colors blend and how they look on the skin. So that is all that I have for you guys today. Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know, do you have this palette? Have you seen this palette? Do you want to get this palette? Let me know all the details down below. Your positive interaction means the world and I greatly do appreciate it as I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. So until next time, you know that drill. Keep a smile on that gorgeous face of yours and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Crafty Crew, out.